In this video, I'm going to take you through the concentricity constraint as well as the fixed constraint. So let us go ahead and start making two circles. Say I'm having two circles like this. Now I want uh, this smaller circle to be concentric to this to this circle. Concentric is uh, means that the center point of both the circles should lie at the same point. That is the meaning of concentricity. So if I want the center of this small circle to lie at the center of this circle, I need to select both of them. First, I need to define one. Say I'm defining the center of this circle using the two dimensions. Now I am making this circle coincidence with this circle. So you have to select both the circles and then go to the dialog box select concentricity. So the smaller circle becomes concentric to the bigger circle. Now the same thing can actually be done with the coincidence con constraint. Concentricity is a version of coincidence constraint. So if I want to, it's basically the coincidence of the center point of one circle to the center point of another circle. For example, if I want to this circle to be concentric to this circle, I just need to select the two points, this point and this point and select coincidence. I will still get concentricity. So both the things mean the same, but concentricity is easier to uh, operate with because you are selecting the whole circle. You don't need to search for points. So that is an advantage in using concentricity, but both mean the same thing. Now let's look at uh, what is fix. For example, I am having a line in space and I want to make one line perpendicular to the other line. I want to make this line perpendicular to this line without defining this line. I don't want to define this line using dimensions, but I just need to make this line perpendicular to this. So instead of giving dimensions, I will just make it fix. F fix it. Just right click. If you just right click on it. And you're going to get options. So if I'm using the dialog box, select the line go to the dialog box, go to fix. That means you are artificially fixing the line without giving it constraints. Now if you apply the perpendicularity constraint of this line with respect to this line perpendicularity, this line will not move and this line will become perpendicular to this. So this is one use of it you can use it for different different things fix can be used for different things but it should not be used for defining geometry it is just used for m making the job easier for me uh, in the process of making geometry but finally when defining the geometry you should use the dimensions and the geometrical constraints so this is about fix and concentricity we'll look at the other constraints in the upcoming videos thanks